Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're in a van. We're not in Asia anymore. My life right now is in a camper van which we have built ourselves and we moved in about a month ago. We're at Maidenwell at the moment which is about three hours-ish, maybe two and a half hours northwest of Brisbane. We stayed in a free overnight camp here. It's available on Wikicamps if you want to just look it up. It's east of the Bunya Mountains, which are also beautiful by the way. There's heaps of kangaroos um, with little joeys at the moment. It's September, so all of the babies have been born and they're hanging out with their mumsy and eating grass and it's really cute. The reason for this video is because at this free camp here, uh, last night I went to the toilet and as I came out, uh, I saw what I thought might have been a ghost. That triggered me to look up if uh, there were ghosts known to be in Maidenwell. And there were a couple of articles that I saw, but what really interested me was that at Coomba Falls, which is where we'll be heading in a moment, in the 19th century there was a massacre of the original people of, the, of this land, the Aboriginals of the Waka Waka tribe. And Coomba Falls, they say by legend, is a bottomless hole. Um, and apparently it's also where the European settlers dumped a lot of the bodies that of the Aboriginal folk that they killed. So it's pretty spooky. A lot of history, which isn't, surprise, surprise, uh, documented by the government with signs and that sort of thing. So it's always swept under the rug as with most original owners of the land. We're gonna head there now. Interesting, so we're here. We're with our friends, they're traveling with us as well. <laughs> She doesn't know. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys. <laughs> That's where we keep our utensils up the top there. And every now and then, down steep hills or bends or whatever, more down here, it falls out. So, yeah. The reality of van life, it's not all, not all bum cheeks and smiles. <laughs> Although it is sometimes. Oh, hey, look what you did. <laughs> That's my balance. I don't think I'll need shoes for this baby. We might get bit by snakes. I had no idea what to expect really before I came here. It's crazy. I don't think I've ever been anywhere like this before. It's almost like an oasis. There has apparently been a Yowie sighted somewhere here. You can probably find the article if you Google it. And also there have been a lot of ghost sightings. This place is crazy. Just boulders like stacked on top of each other and like split down the middle and rounded and balancing there so perfectly. And then there's this where the water used to fall. It's all white there now. There's just so much to look at. I highly recommend coming here. This place is maybe a three minute drive from Maidenwell with a pretty easy walk. It's just straight up to the car park up there. Pretty walk. Uh, I wouldn't recommend bringing your grandma. She probably won't be able to make it, but all you able-bodied folks get out here and go exploring. This is so strange, this part right, right here, there's this tree that has this weird curve in it, and then right beside it, there's a black boy with the exact same curve in it. How the hell did that happen? If you're not super familiar with the black boy, I believe it's a native Australian plant and the Aboriginals saw it as quite a staple food. The head of it, right up the top there, in where all these pointy bits here go into the plant, just in here. You can pull those out and you can eat where it sort of connects into the tree. It's quite sweet. You can also chop off the bark off the sides, cook it up and have it as a stew.
Hey guys, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. We just wanted to give you a quick update. We've actually had to fly to the Gold Coast for a funeral. Our van is currently in storage in Tasmania and we're going back in about a week's time so we can film our van tour and include the rest of our build in that video. So in the meantime, we're going to be uploading a few travel videos from our time in the van over the last few months before we return to Tasmania and continue our travel journey there. So if there's anywhere in Tasmania you'd like us to check out, leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. Leave us a like and subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see you next week.